Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another Black Friday preparation video for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at the market and what's been going on this week in terms of market movements. Just what we saw today, uh, excuse me, yesterday on Monday, kind of the Sunday night into Monday market rise, things that we talked about, marketplaces that moved, road to the final cards are up. A lot of out of pack special cards are still just kind of chilling. Like they're not really getting, uh, they're not really rising that much. Uh, I think there's just still a lot of, nece not necessarily panic, but just a lot of uncertainty on the market right now. And I think we can see that based on the prices that aren't moving that much. So I'll talk to you guys about what I've do been doing in terms of flipping and trading and stuff like that as well. Uh, and then also just kind of get our minds right as we gear up for the second half of this week, which is going to be big time, big time stuff. It, it was kind of a quiet Monday on the market in all honesty. Uh, we really we really didn't get too much, uh, too much content today. On the Monday, we had a new team of the week pack, which is where some of the market movements today could be found and, and why we saw some of the things that we did see. A lot of the current team of the week was panic sold a little bit at 6 p.m. UK because of this new current team of the week SBC. So basically what they did was they got rid of the old team of the week SBC, which was team of the week one through six and the current and they replaced it with this. And this is just exchange a squad for an untradeable team of the week player open now or save for later. So this tells me that, uh, and since this is going to be out after uh, Black Friday starts, as well as this 81 plus uh, double, both of these SBCs are going to be out during the first weekend of Black Friday promotion, right? From Friday to Sunday, these cards are going to be out for that kind of time period since they're out for 10 days. So this kind of tells me uh, that EA is starting their Black Friday preparation already. But this current Team of the Week upgrade kind of interests me. Not because of the movements that it brought out today with a little bit of panic selling and a slight rebound on some informs. I'm just curious to know, even though this says current, current Team of the Week upgrade, when and if they do best of Team of the Week and those cards back into packs, are they going to qualify for this SBC? That's going to be very interesting because if they release best of Team of the Week, like they have in years prior, technically that those are just like promo cards, right? They're not in the actual team of the week. We should see the actual team of the week come out on Wednesday of this week. Uh, team of the week nine, I think it is. We should see that released this week. So I'm kind of thinking this might not be um, something that we could pack best of team of the week players from if that does come this weekend. Uh, but I saw that today and I was a bit interested. And again, that is why you saw me. I had an Alex Teixeira on my transfer list because today... Uh, right around the content drop time, the first 20, 30 minutes, there was a lot of panic selling on some of the team of the week. Alex Teixeira was down. Uh, we had guys like um, Mares that were down. So I bought Teixeira at like the 150s, mid 150s, 155, 156, and I've been listing him at 170, which is kind of where he is right now. I got one sale, as you can tell, on my transfer list. That just That's just a nice little cheeky flip, if I'm being completely honest. That was just a nice little bit of panic selling and then a rebound because, again, whenever you see these untradeable Team of the Week SBCs, as long as it's untradeable, right, you know that there's no tradable supply coming onto the market. So as long as there are people that want to buy these cards back because they're A, popular or meta um, in this game, like Mares and um, Alex Teixeira both are, you should see them bounce back a little bit. So that's why I bought some to shares today. The other big thing that we saw, and I pointed this out just a little bit on the YouTube video yesterday on the, on the market outlook, was those cards during squad battle rewards that were low rated from um, the Prem. Low rated cards from the Prem because of the Bellerin objective, a lot of those cards absolutely flew at squad battles, right? This Ake card was 9.7K at squad battles. He's 10.750 right now. Um, I'm actually going to buy this and do a little lazy list on it because I've been selling a lot of these lazies today. Ake's with a shadow are selling for like 13,000 coins. I'm going to go with 12.5 on that. Make like 1,000 coins and it's a GG, right? But uh, Adama Troyer went up like 1,000 coins, 2,000 coins. A lot of these cards, Alan St. Maximum, I mean, went up a couple K. A lot of these cards did go up higher with rewards, and that just shows you that a lot of people went out today and they were working on the Bellerin objective, right? That was something we talked about in the video. You could probably buy those during the pack supply and sell them after. And just again, to kind of drive this point home, as we get more and more objectives in the future, if it is an object like a, a league player objective like Bellerin or Mole, if they keep doing requirements that have a like low rated requirement, um, you might see really meta cards like this kind of bounce back. You can see what he did on Sunday, right? He went down Saturday night, back up to 12K, down by rewards again. 
you know, and then early this morning after squad battles, 9.7 thousand coins and then bounces back up to 12 and is kind of back down now after everybody bought and, and started doing those uh, objectives and then sold their cards. So there was a lot of movements like that on the market today. And then throughout the rest of the market, the biggest other news that we saw was Road to the Finals. Now today is Champions League again. We have Champions League football back again today. We have a lot of games going on. And I just, I just want to talk through a few of these scenarios. A lot of these cards are up in price, right? A lot of these Champions League cards have been bought up. They've been invested in and they're inflated. What does this mean for these cards? Now, in my opinion, last year, these cards just kept going higher. But there's going to be some sort of panic selling on these cards um, this weekend. I think there is for Black Friday. You're going to see some sort of panic selling on a lot of these cards. So if you want to take the cash and do the quick flip, especially if it's a card that is like not necessarily guaranteed, but has a very, very high chance of actually going through to the knockout rounds already. I think of guys like Alfonso Davies, who is 600,000 coins. He's up like 150K almost from where his lowest point was in packs. Not quite 150K. But he's up a lot, right? Alfonso Davies is 590, right? 600K. Bayern Munich is almost already confirmed to be going uh, to the next round. They're in Group A. They're on nine points already. And then Atletico is behind them in fourth with four points. Excuse me, not in fourth. In second with four points. So a card like this, part of the upgrade is already priced into this card, in my opinion. So some of these cards that are you know already confirmed to be in, I'll, we'll take a look at some of the groups right here. Like Bayern is sitting on three wins, right? Nine points. And we're headed into match day number four. Group B is an interesting one. I want to talk about this in a second. Uh, group C... City's looking pretty good. So Gabriel Jesus, of course, Liverpool is looking pretty good. All the teams that are on nine points right now, it's not a guaranteed yet, but some of these cards already have the upgrades kind of priced into them because their prices are inflated a decent amount already. Now, I mentioned I wanted to talk about Group B. This is just an example. This could happen in other groups. But since this one's really close, right? Uh, five, four, four, and two points for all the teams here. Inter Milan and Real Madrid are playing this week. Shakhtar and Borussia Mönchengladbach are playing this week, right? Let's just talk about it like this, right? Madrid with a win could go to first place. Shakhtar with a win could be tied with them for first place. Um, just this is going to be an interesting group to watch because some cards that have road to the finals, like this Tyson card, has really not risen up that much. If Mönchengladbach win against Shakhtar. It's looking very likely because I'm assuming that Real Madrid is going to beat Inter, right? Now, let's just say this, this scenario plays out. I would expect this Tyson card to probably drop after the game because he would have a less chance of getting upgraded. And then the, this Zakaria would maybe rise up a little bit, right? But I could see a definite investment opportunity here. If Shakhtar would beat Muchen Gladbach um, and Gladbach would drop and you'd have this Zakaria card that would probably get panic sold. So, you know... These cards are probably going to keep rising into the next couple of weeks. That's why I really hesitate to say, hey, maybe sell these guys today. But if you're just unsure and you're already up in the profit so much already, I'm looking at Europa League Live Sissoko. The dude was 730,000 coins on Tuesday or on, on Thursday, sorry, and he's 900K. This card is literally 900,000 coins for one of the uh, for his card that uh, literally just went out of packs like uh, a few days ago. It's crazy how much this card has gone up. Yes, I know he's very good. I get it. But some of, like, some of these cards are still overpriced. So if you want to do the safe route, sell some of these and then possibly look to buy them back. Friday morning, there should be panic selling on these cards as we start the Black Friday promo and stuff like that. You should start to see panic on some of those. Now, I know a lot of you guys have already bought special cards for your teams. Uh, and let's kind of switch gears here back to like regular special cards. Uh, if we look at some of the most popular cards in this game right now, um, on the meta page, St. Maxman's still kind of chilling around the same price. Felix is still kind of chilling. Fernandez is still chilling, right? Renato, Valverde, Rashford. A lot of these cards, wow, it says Goretzka's 200k flat. That's a situation. Um, a lot of these informs are still kind of staying their same price uh, from weekend league sellout. They really have not moved that much. Now, Goretzka just got a little undercut snipe here on, on Footbin, and Footbin caught it. So that's why I went to run and check that price. But rule breaker cards. Um, a lot of these guys are just kind of chilling. So honestly, if you haven't bought yet, 
I know I mentioned that buying this weekend was probably going to be a good shout, and I still stand by that. That was a definite buy time for some cards. Uh, but if you have not bought yet and you're still waiting for more panic or still waiting to see what happens, or if you think EA is going to drop a base icon repeatable SBC, which I personally don't think they are going to, but if you think they are, or if you think there's going to be some crazy Champions League content today, there's probably going to be some pack supply. We'll talk about that in a second. But I think you just keep holding off. I really don't think you're going to see too much of a market rise with rewards on Thursday. Um, if any cards are going to go up, I mean, maybe it's the rule breakers because they're just so freaking rare. Uh, but I think if you have not bought yet, I think you're just chilling. I really think you're just chilling and you're waiting until Friday to see what happens. Now, I don't mind it. If you watch the card all week, like you saw this Lukaku card and you saw him on the weekly league sell off. I know he was lower than 365 at one point yesterday. Or let's say you were watching Di Maria or Quadrado, right? Quadrado is 220 right now, according to Footbin. This guy was, I bought two of them yesterday at 200K flat to flip. So if this guy's already back up 20K, you're feeling good, right? You bought at a good time. Yes, there could be some more panic, of course, but you can't control what everybody thinks on the foot market. So you are uh, you just bought in at a low time. So if you bought this weekend, I don't think you have to worry about it. Van Anholt, again, as another rule breaker, was 180K. He's now 200 again. Pogba was down in the low 900s. He's 970. So I don't think it was a bad idea to buy this weekend at all, um, especially if you bought somebody for your team, right? That's why, that's why I was encouraging buys this weekend were for your team. Uh, if you were just investing kind of like myself, I'm not trying to buy a team during Black Friday. I'm just looking to invest and make quick flips and make uh, quick f uh, flip profits on Black Friday with, with panic selling and supply coming to the market and everything like that. Then I'm going to be waiting until later this week until we know a little bit more about Black Friday possibly or just see the, the panic selling on Friday morning. Now again, Cristiano Ronaldo is up a lot because he's potentially getting in team of the week. So a lot of people are buying up this card uh, because they think he's going to be going out of packs for Black Friday. So a lot of people went out and bought this for their team. Mbappe, Neymar are still decently low, but they are a bit up from where they were. Um, that is one point that I did see today on the market as well. And I want to talk about SBC fodder. I want to talk about SBCs as well uh, on this game because the fodder kind of went up today a little bit. And again, you guys know how I, I, I gauge the fodder situation and how expensive this is. Some people were asking me, yo, should I buy SBC fodder before Friday? Should I do a club stock even? And honestly, I'm saying no. I'm honestly saying no because of all the pack supply that is going to be coming this Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team with lightning rounds. I don't know if you guys remember, but they ran 250,000 packs just for one of the lightning rounds last year on PlayStation 4. It was like the biggest number of packs we had ever seen in any lightning round. I forget if it was 100Ks or 125Ks. They're going to do the same thing this year because they knew it, they know it worked for them last year. They're going to do it again this year. They're going to hit a lot of packs, a lot of lightning rounds, and that means a lot of supply. Last year, we saw SBC fodder rise a little bit into the night on Black Friday. But last year, we also had a base icon repeatable SBC that was out in the game. So if that SBC does not come out this week, in my opinion, as long as no other repeatable SBC comes out that requires high rated players, fodder is going to go down. Even if we get one or two SBC players, um, you know, we haven't had the most amazing SBC content yet this year. As long as we don't have another PK, Scream PK SBC last year was one that really did the market in because um, nobody was really invested for it and it was just so desirable that it made the market go crazy. As long as we don't have an SBC like that, it's incredible value and I don't see that happening or a repeatable base icon, I think a lot of this fodder is going to go down. I'm going to be looking at completing Player of the Month Sun during the, this weekend of Black Friday. So that's kind of where my thoughts are with the SBC fodder at this moment. Now, every single day that goes by, like today, 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 I saw stuff on Twitter about like a Ronaldinho icon SBC. People are throwing leaks around everywhere, man. So all I'll say is this, just be careful. There's going to be panic selling like every single day when you head into the content drop because people are, are spreading leaks and they're talking about stuff. So just be careful about what you're reading with that and, you know, know what your goals are heading into this promo period. So again, we're going to continue to cover the market really, really closely um, throughout this week. As of right now, though, to me, it really just seems like it's kind of just chill, right? You have a couple cards that are fluctuating up and down. A lot of stuff is really not moving that much. If we look at a lot of the cards on the market, 
Uh, a lot of these special cards aren't really moving. You could watch out for some OTWs today that are playing Champions League. Uh, and then I did want to talk about the pack supply for UCL marquee matchups because that could be coming out today as well. Now, you might see some panic selling on informs as we head into the 6 p.m. time frame today. Some of those guys that we were just looking at, right? Like Goretzka, like Mares, like Alex Teixeira, Kante, Mane. You might see a bit of panic selling because... Uh, people know that there's tradable pack supply coming out in the game today. So just watch these informs. That's why I'm trying to flick, flip my Alex to shares tonight and make those coins and get the, the, the profit solidified because with UEFA marquee matchups coming out today, uh, I do think there's a possibility for some pack supply to hit the market. I do not really think that it's going to create um, a lot of prices dropping too much. Maybe a little bit though, because today, again, I was trying to do some, I guess what they call tech avion trading or lazy listing, right? So I was buying today, I was buying Ake's with shadows for like 11,000 coins and trying to sell them at 13 to 14. Alan St. Maximins, I was buying at like low 15s, selling at 17 to 18. And I have gotten a decent amount of sales today, but not as many sales as we normally get. So I really don't think a lot of people are buying in this market right now. And that to me makes me kind of want to hold back just a little bit. Just in case we do get some supply today, some cards that are in packs could drop off a little bit more. Um, and then, you know, maybe that's a flip opportunity, possibly, but also just kind of like the whole, if nobody's buying, what is going to trip their trigger to start buying? I really is going to think it's going to take rewards this week, or it's going to take just Black Friday on Friday night for the market to really start to boom up. So if you're trying to flip, just be careful The out of packs in forms and the rule breakers are still fluctuating. There are cards that are still fluctuating on this market. So just be careful with it, that though. Uh, and if you have major buys for Black Friday, be happy, right? You bought your cards, you got a low price. A lot of that stuff is going to continue to rise after the weekend anyway, unless EA drops some insane, insane stuff. But we're going to continue to follow this market really close up until Black Friday this Friday. Uh, and even with Thursday and rewards, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I don't think a lot of people are going to invest for Thursday flips this week. And I'm going to have to think about this over the next day or so, depending on what happens today on Tuesday, will really make up my mind on, are we going to try to Thursday flip invest with rewards this week is the market going to go up the day before a huge promo where really nobody's going to be opening their packs because they're all going to be saving them uh, so we're going to have to kind of ponder that over together and see what we do on thursday if we do attempt some thursday flips but kind of a low day on fifa man if i'm being completely honest there's just not a ton to do at the moment it's just like all impending all this impending wait all this impending question marks what's going to happen what content's going to come out uh, and people are kind of worried about it too. Don't worry, all right? It's going to be fine. Uh, last thing I will say though is please look at icons. If you're somebody who wants to buy icons, they are very low. Um, so if it's a very meta icon or very popular card, uh, just keep an eye on those because a lot of those guys are fluctuating a little bit downward trending and their prices are looking really, really good. So that's kind of a long video today, boys. But if you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.